Attempts to design a better transmission date back to Leonardo da Vinci. In the early 1900s, Henry Ford sought to invent a transmission to replace the manual shifters in his cars, one that would seamlessly shift and vary infinitely to any gear ratio desired, an infinitely variable transmission. After investing many years and dollars, he deemed the concept to be impossible. The pursuit of a practical, infinitely variable transmission has led to frustration and failure by many of the world's best engineering minds. FOMO, a true infinitely variable transmission, would have made Henry Ford smile. Most current transmissions use energy-robbing clutches, shifting, hydraulics, or friction to change speed. This shows how FOMO can convert the constant input speed from a motor into an infinite range of output speeds without any of these disadvantages. No clunky shifting or uneven speed changes, just a simple turn of the controller and gear ratios change smoothly and infinitely. One great application is for bicycles. A 10-speed bike, for example, uses sets of different size sprockets in order to allow for changes in the ratio between the pedals and the rear wheel. Most bicycle riders don't think about how complex and inefficient the shifting process truly is. First, you have to be pedaling at a reasonable speed in order to shift gears. You can't change gears without rotating the pedals. During the shifting process, pressure on the pedals must be fairly light to allow the derailleur to push the chain off its current sprocket. The next one to two pedal rotations are wasted while the chain gets derailed and deposited on a new set of sprockets. Efficiency is lost due to derailleur friction, loss of momentum, and chain misalignment. In contrast, a FOMO bicycle has none of these disadvantages. A FOMO bicycle can be shifted any time, moving or not. The pedals are always engaged, so there is no loss of momentum or derailleur friction. There are infinite gear ratios available. Never again will the chain come off. Most important, a high degree of the rider's energy gets converted into forward motion, FOMO. The prototype shown was designed for proof of concept. The actual bicycle application will fit neatly inside the rear hub for a lightweight, invisible bike transmission. And, believe it or not, if your muscles get tired, you can even pedal backwards and still travel forward. Initial target customers are original equipment manufacturers for motor scooters, wind turbines, and bicycles. Future markets may include manufacturing, motor vehicles, earth movers, and high torque machinery. Estimates have pegged the size of the transmission industry at as high as $214 billion annually. If Henry Ford had had today's technology, he might have invented FOMO. And as you have seen in this video, it works. The design, engineering, and proof of concept prototype were created with a leading San Diego engineering firm. The positive results from building and testing the prototype led to the filing of U.S. patents in 2008. We have teamed up with intellectual properties attorneys and other key advisors in developing the business model. For more information, please contact Scott Jewett. He can be reached at scott at jewettcompanies.com.